guys, here's Torsten. I hope you're doing well. And uh, today I want to give you a quick tour of my home theater. I was lucky enough to build this home theater when we built the house, so I had really the chance to plan everything from scratch. And uh, let me start with the shelf we attached under the ceiling, where I put the projector. So this projector is actually from Epson. I bought it a long time ago, around seven years ago, still in when I was living in Germany and brought it here to Japan. It's a 1080p LCD projector and some of you guys might think it's very outdated, but you will actually be very surprised how little changed during the last seven years. The picture quality is still excellent. And of course, if you spend big money on the latest 4K projector, you will have better picture quality, but I am very satisfied with the projector still and it's not on my on my list yet to be updated. Then next to it I have a NAS station from Synology where I put all my media files and then next to that the Apple AirPod. And Bunsen and Beaker is also on deck. <laughs> all right. Then here to the back, you see I have in-wall speakers. Uh, they are covered by this cover here. Let me take it off. And I chose in-wall speakers from Polk Audio. I took uh, a look at some solutions here I can get in Japan, but I didn't find anything. They have some from Pioneer here, but they don't compare to the ones offered by Polk Audio. So basically I got the for the front and rear the 265-RT and then the center speaker the 255CRT. You might think that the sound might be a little bit blocked by the figures and by the TV but you wouldn't be able to recognize it at all. The speakers really sound excellent and Including the shipping to Japan, I bought these speakers from ebay.com. I think I paid around $1,300. I'm very happy with the sound quality. And let me show you what I put in the TV bank. This is a, a very small model from Sony because the TV bank, there's not so much space. The height is quite limited and you can see there's not too much space between the top of the receiver for the ventilation of the warm air, but no problem at all. I, I think they are around two centimeters. And then as my daily driver, as a media player, I use the Western Digital TV. I bought this one like I think five or six years ago and it still works completely flawlessly. I tell you guys, um, it only costs a hundred bucks and it plays everything you can throw at it. I also experimented a little bit uh, recently with the Kodi Media Center solution. I attached a PC and the Raspberry Pi, but I haven't configured everything perfectly yet in terms of the controls. So as my daily driver, like I said, I'm still using the Western Digital. All right, and then uh, let me show you the screen. It's a motor screen embedded into the ceiling. Uh, this is actually something we had to cut out by the company that built the house for it. The Actually a funny story, the architect, he didn't have any experience with building home theaters. So I drew everything on a blueprint and he helped me to you know, make the measurements perfect. And I'm really happy with the results, especially considering the costs I think all in all, I paid less than 5,000 bucks for this home theater, or pretty much maybe 5,000 bucks. You can even get it cheaper nowadays because the projector is much cheaper these days. Anyway, you see the screen coming here down from the ceiling and it actually takes around 30 seconds, I would say. It's uh, rather slow, but in the end it doesn't really matter because it gives you time to power up the receiver and the media center which takes a while to boot up so no real delay here and as you see it is quite straight the screen I'm very happy with it 
the ceilings actually here for Japanese houses are quite high, around 2 meters, 70 centimeters. Remember in Germany and probably in the States, it's quite normal. But yeah, like I said, for Japanese houses, that was actually um, an option we had when we built the house. As you see, there's quite a broad black bar at the top because the ceilings are quite high. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is how it looks when the screen is uh, lowered. Another quick uh, overview of the home theater. And uh, well, guys, I hope you liked the tour. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I see you in the next one. Peace, guys.